The Illinois gubernatorial primary is today. Republican Governor Bruce Rauner facing several challenges, including GOP candidate Jean Ives, and she joins us now. Jean, look, you've got a Republican governor in Illinois. You're a Republican. Why are you challenging? Well, Tucker Carlson was right. Governor Rauner is a fake Republican. So we have a fake Republican in charge of the state, and he's failed in all sorts of ways. He's, we, we hired him to be the conservative reform governor, and he got nothing done. And then he betrayed us on every party platform issue that we have. Okay. Taxpayer funding of abortion, sanctuary state, you name it. Okay, now the big issue, and look, I'm an outsider, but the big issue in Illinois yeah. is surely the unfunded government worker pension problem. I mean, you don't have the money. If you were elected, look, on the screens right now, you might not be able to see it, $138 mm -hmm. billion dollars worth of unfunded pension liabilities in the state of Illinois for government workers retired. If you were elected, if you were the governor, what would you do about mm -hmm. that? The first step is new hires have to go into a 401k style program. And this is something that's not new in the state of Illinois. We, we have a program like that that we've been using at the state university level for 20 years. Yep. And when we do that, when we put new hires in a 401k, it tells the bond market and residents and businesses that we're going to stop digging this problem. But, and then but, we can but, sorry, work on but, the rest but, of the unfunded The Democrats liability. dominate the state legislature, and they would not allow that. I don't believe that's the case. Honestly, we've had good conversations with uh, public sector employees, with Democrats. They know that we can't continue along this unsustainable path. We, they know we can't continue to spend 25 to 28 percent of our general revenues on somebody else's pension and still think we can fund our disability community, infrastructure, education, everything else. So a day of reckoning is coming, coming, and it has to happen in 2018. Um, Governor Rauner signed a law last year, I think it was about sanctuary cities, essentially making, uh, making Illinois a sanctuary state. Yeah. What are you going to do about that? Well, I've signed on to the repeal bill for sanctuary state, and as a governor, you run the Illinois State Police, and I guarantee you the Illinois State Police will comply with federal immigration law. And then we will, we will pressure local municipalities to do the same. And the truth is, Governor Rauner, there were two cases, prominent cases, where um, criminal illegal aliens killed loved ones in the state of Illinois. And Governor Rauner promised those loved ones, like meeting with them prior to signing the sanctuary state, and he re then he refused to meet with these folks, refused to hear their side. And that's what's shameful, too. So you're running as a Trump Republican. That's where you're coming from, right? Uh, I support uh, President Trump on his policies. I have two kids in the military. Okay. I like what he's doing in terms of military training and spending. Okay, we got it. Gene Ives, thanks very much for joining us. We do appreciate it. And I should tell our viewers that we did reach out to Governor Rauner to join us. Uh, we've not yet, at this point, heard back from him.